Holy smokies, guys. It has been an absolute epic last two days. It's been very, very crazy here at the new shop. So basically, here's where we are. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on. This is the wife's Jeep. This is the wife's new Jeep. You see behind me, it's out of focus. There you go. Wife's new Jeep, bam. Um, so she doesn't know about this Jeep yet. This is before we bring her down here and do the surprise with the Jeep. So we picked up the Jeep, and in between then and now, we have been absolutely hammering the shop. We have it like three quarters of the way done. We moved in, we did Josh's truck, and now we are here today. Um, so I'm not gonna post this obviously before we do the surprise video. This will come after the surprise video. So if you guys didn't check out the surprise video, it'll be right here. But anyways, you guys will see tomorrow in the video that the Jeep came from auction. My dealer found me the Jeep at the auction. They purchased it for me. They got it to the dealership. I went and I picked it up. They went over it. They did their whole thing with it. They put fresh inspection on it. They did. I think they did rear brakes. Some stupid little stuff like that. But they haven't like detailed the vehicle. So the vehicle is absolutely trashed. It is literally what it looked like when whoever the first owner had it traded it in, went to the auction, went to the dealer. Now I have it. They were going to perform all this work for us, but I didn't want to wait for that to happen. I wanted the Jeep now so we can surprise Teresa now. So basically, I don't want to give her a dirty, traded in old Jeep. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to detail. That's what we're doing today. We're, we're detailing my wife's Jeep because how can you do a surprise with a dirty, with a dirty vehicle? All right. So for the exterior of the Jeep, it's really not that bad. Glad it's white because uh, if it was black, we would be in some serious trouble. Um, it's just the basic dirt. It looks like the Jeep was honestly never washed because in all of like the cracks and crevices, like in the seams and stuff, there's just an abundance of dirt. Um, and also on the front grill here, there is, uh, it looks like the, the grill, I don't know if this is factory or aftermarket, the actual expanded metal part, it like rusted and then the rust rain water kind of like rolled down and like stained the front here. So we got to take care of that. So moving under the hood, it actually looks like this Jeep has never been cleaned in its uh, four years of existence underneath of this hood. It doesn't look like they like really took the Jeep off roading. It just has some basic road dust on there and will clean up fairly easy. But other than that, not too bad under the hood. We don't have our interior wash bay set up yet, so I did it outside. And of course, a storm rolls in. And it's raining pretty good. All right, so now with the interior, this is probably the part that I wanna you know, pay the most attention to, especially for her. 
Um, so it's not horrible inside, but it does need a serious detail. This is just straight how it was from whoever traded it in, straight to the auction, straight to me. So here you go. But there's no stains in the carpet. There's not any stains on the floor mats. So there's not going to be real time consuming parts to the interior. But the back, there is some sand in here. So whoever had this before took it to the beach and then brought some sand back home with them. But that's usually, you know, how it goes when you take your vehicle to the beach. All right, guys, to finish off the interior, I'm going to let you in on a smoking little secret. Now, anyone who rides dirt bikes is going to know exactly what I'm talking about, but this is it right here, this good old SC1. So you just give this a spray all over everything that's kind of could use it. It can go kind of on everything. I've been using this on my vehicle since literally I could drive and I've never had any issues. Now what I normally do is I just give it a light spray. Lights mist all over. Don't spray it on there like you're spraying your old YZ250. You know, give it just a nice little spritz. Let it sit for just a second. You know, they recommend like 60 seconds or whatever, but you know, then just give it a nice wipe down, even it out, and it'll make your dash and interior look amazing. Alrighty guys, that is about it for my wife's Jeep detail. Um, the car wasn't that dirty, so it was kind of easy, um, but there you go. There it is behind you. I just did a little overview for you to see it. Check it out. So now what I have to do is I have to get it out of here. I have to get it to my pap's house. I'm storing it there. I stored it there for the past night, um, just in case my wife and I were to stop down here and there'd just be a Jeep chilling in the garage, you know? Um, so we're done, you know, hiding it from her. We're gonna show her tomorrow. So you're gonna see tomorrow's video first and then today's video second. Does that make any sense? All right guys, so if you made it this far, you are freaking awesome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family. We have an amazing new journey ahead of us with the shop and with the Jeep. We're gonna be stealing my wife's Jeep. We're gonna be doing all kinds of stuff to it. So what do you guys think of the Jeep? Let me know. Um, by the, yeah, you already know about it from this video. I, I keep getting confused because I'm filming this before tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. But all right, that's it. I'm starting to ramble. I. I'm headed to the house. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.